What is going on everybody, the Saints fan, and welcome back to another episode of Monday Mailbox. This is a series where I answer you guys' questions about either GTA or gaming in general. If you want to ask a question for next week's episode, leave it in the comment section or send me a message over YouTube with the subject titled Monday Mailbox. Before we get into the video, as always, if you do enjoy this series and want to see more, definitely leave a like and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome GTA content. Now the first question we have is from Big Will 8 270 and he asks, do you think it would be cool if Rockstar added different uniforms in the game such as cop, firefighter, EMS, pest control, etc. for multiplayer? I would love that and I really don't know why they haven't put like these costumes in. I guess it might get a little bit confusing if there was one guy dressed around as a cop and then he went into the uh, you know the mode where you call Lester and you get all your stuff off the screen. I forget what it's called. But, uh, you know, that might be confusing, but I think that'd be really awesome, you know. Obviously, they might be saving this stuff for a cop DLC or a, uh, you know, a military DLC. I know you didn't really mention military outfits, but maybe they are saving for that down the line. You know, that could be a possibility while they haven't released it. But uh, as for now, you know, I don't know, man. Like, I, I would totally love having, you know, these outfits, whether they implement it with, like, features that you could become a cop or could become, like, a firefighter or something. Or if it's just like the costume or the outfit by itself and, uh, you know, you have to pretend to be all that stuff. I still think that would be awesome. And it would definitely make the role-playing aspect of GTA a lot more fun. Because instead of, you know, pretending to be a cop, you can actually dress up as a cop. Or, you know, maybe if you wanted to be a firefighter. Although, I don't know. Well, you want to be a firefighter. That'd be kind of weird. But, hey, you know, if you want to do it, you can do it. And the pest control one, I think that's a, that's a really cool one. Because, especially when Heist comes out, and maybe... They already have this planned for when heists do come out, but uh, you know, having the pest control outfit while you're robbing the stores and stuff, I think that'd be really awesome. Moving on, the next question we have is from Lost Comment. This is kind of a two-parter, and he says, "Do you think that money glitches will ever stop? And why do you think Rockstar isn't releasing the stock market mansions, etc.?" Well, we've answered number one already on the Squadcast. If you haven't checked that out, um, definitely go watch our podcast. They're really cool, but. Do you think money glitches will ever stop? No. Like, it, I just saw a glitch today. It's like how to get anything for free. Like, come on. Like, it's just, it's at a point where there's just no winning to this glitching war, if you want to call it that. Uh, so, yeah, money glitches, any any glitches really will probably never stop. I mean, that's just what people do. They, you know, they find ways around it. So, uh, there's probably never going to be a stop to it. As for the question about stock market and mansions, um, I've kind of mentioned the stock market a little bit before. Uh, I really don't think they're ever going to release the stock market online. You know, in a perfect world, that would be awesome, and they could. But since, uh, you know, we have the money glitches and stuff, then they definitely would not release the stock market. Because imagine having people glitching the stock market to make, like, billions of dollars instead of just millions. It, it, it's almost, uh, you know, it's too risky for Rockstar to put out there. As for mansions, though, uh, that would be really neat. The problem is, and I kind of was talking about this with somebody else, if you had a mansion, like like as an apartment, you couldn't really have like the the yard included because uh, when you go into an apartment, like each person has a different apartment, but it, it's closed off. So like from the outside, you can't see in. Whereas a mansion, you know, the yard, unless there's like a bubble around it or something, then you can see in it, and it's gonna be so weird if like there's different people owning the same mansion, because then they'll be like all walking around, and I don't know. Plus, if people were in your yard, or if the yard was included in a mansion, then, uh, you know, obviously when you go to your apartment, you can't kill anybody, you know, you're kind of in passive mode, but then what if somebody takes a jet or a helicopter and flies it in there, like, uh, that whole part would be kind of weird. As for the house itself, though, uh, you know, they could definitely do that, it'd be, it'd be interesting. Um, I mean, obviously there's definitely a lot of houses in the game, maybe one day in the future they might test it out. I'm sure, you know, on PC, I always say this, but on PC, somebody will make a mod to make it so where those are available. So it's definitely going to come one way or the other. But mansions, as cool as they would be, they do have some sort of balancing and some issues to fix before, you know, Rockstar would implement them into the game. Next question we have is from HamasXA, and he asks, There's been a lot of info of Rockstar testing GTA 5 on PC lately. Do you think that it will actually be released on PC, and if you do, then when? Well, I think obviously it's coming to PC. I mean, GTA 4 was such a hit on PC, and if they don't release GTA 5 on PC, then they are losing on a lot of money. And we all know Rockstar, they want their money. So definitely, uh, I believe it's coming to the PC. As for when I think it's coming, 
there has been a lot of rumors lately because basically Rockstar never goes to like the gaming events such as PAX, E3 and stuff like that and they're actually rumored to be going to E3 and at E3 they are talking about how Rockstar could either there's two possibilities at least how Rockstar could either be releasing or, or announcing GTA 5 on PC and next gen you know PS4 and Xbox One or Red Dead Redemption 2 and I'll get more into that in a second but I, I pretty much think it, it even might but honestly it and honestly it could even be both but I think E3 is definitely when they are going to announce it you know a lot of people are saying that E3 because E3 is from Tuesday to Wednesday no Tuesday to Thursday I think uh, for the most part and if they release it or announced it one of those days then they can have it like sold or, or be able to buy it on Friday because that's what a couple of games have done in the past but I definitely think that GTA 5 on PC or next gen is definitely coming out this summer uh, you know June July obviously E3 is in June so that's probably what I'm sticking to I think it's like June 17th is the Friday after E3 so probably around then uh, if not man maybe they'll hold it off till like Christmas time but I really don't see them waiting that long because obviously a lot of people want a next generation game and what they could do, and this ties into the next question of uh, from Gamers Bet, do you think Rockstar released a Game of the Year edition? Well, what they can do for next generation, if any of you guys have a PS4 or have, paid, or have played PS3, you would know about the game called The Last of Us, and they're actually making a next generation Last of Us for the PS4. And what that's going to include is all the DLC and everything that The Last of Us on the PS3 included for like 60 bucks. So maybe what they might do, uh, Rockstar, what they might do with GTA is on the next gen, they release all the DLC that we've had. Um, you know, obviously we'll have the High Life and the Heist and, and all these other things, but it'll all be packaged into the game already so you don't need to like download anything. And I think that'd be really neat. And I think that's probably what they, they might do instead of a Game of the Year edition. I mean, obviously, they probably will make a, a regular Game of the Year edition. But I think it would be really neat if they made that Game of the Year edition incorporated into the Xbox One, PS4, PC uh, bundle. So that is my opinion on that. But going back to the Red Dead Redemption 2 thing, there's actually been some rumors lately um, how Rockstar at E3 might be announcing a Red Dead Redemption 2, even though I know it's a third of the series, guys, because there was Red Dead Revolver, and then there's Red Dead Redemption, but, uh, obviously a lot of people know Red Dead Redemption, so that's why they might name it Red Dead Redemption 2, but, uh, anyway, the third series, or the third part of that series could definitely be coming, or announced at E3 this summer. I would love that. Let me know in the comment section if you want to, like, see some info on Red Dead because like I said there were some rumors and if you guys want me to sort of let you guys know about those rumors then I will do that but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Monday Mailbox if again if you want to ask a question for next week's episode leave it in the comment section or send me a message over YouTube anyways hope you guys enjoyed like the video share it subscribe all that stuff and as always voice in front of my face.